Well, hello, Miss Mott. Hi. How are you? I am so good on this first day of February. I'm so glad to be with you. It is so great to see you. Miss uh, Rosa could not be with us today, but uh, uh, she is super excited about the book that we're going to be sharing today. So you want to, uh, well, you know what? Let's, you want to tell us a little bit about the book um, and then why we are re starting with this book today. Well, this book that we're going to start with today is very special to our Shamrock family because this book um, is written by the author and illustrator that wrote Crown, Ode to the Fresh Cut. Oh, yes. yes. And a lot of our scholars probably right now are like, oh, I remember that book. Yeah. And the illustrator, Gordon C. James, who lives right around the corner from Shamrock Garden, yeah. came in last year, mm -hmm. talked about his book, illustrated a lot of our scholars. And so what, fun. Yeah. What an inspiring guy he is. Yeah. Uh, he's just awesome. So, so he um, partnered back with the same author and they oh. created the book we're going to read today. And I thought um, since today's the first day of February, mm -hmm. it's um, Black History Month. Mm -hmm. So reading books that um, were authored by and illustrated by people of color, mm -hmm. what a way to honor Black History Month. I agree 100%. All of these inspiring friends. So now I follow the old uh, Gordon C. James on the Facebook, and I saw that he also, I think he had another book come out recently. So I'm excited to see if maybe this is it. So I, oh, I think you and I have been doing some mind chatting with our ESP. Yes. <gasps> yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. I am every good. Thing. I like that. I am every good thing. And what a great way to start a new month. Like with the knowing of I am every good thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of our scholars out there right now are looking at this illustration and going, yep, yeah, that's Gordon C. James because they have seen his work mm -hmm. and now they're becoming experts and using their context clues to go, look at this. I know this is Gordon C. James. So talented. Well, let's get started. Let's get started. Ooh, I love this oh, picture. Love page. I am Every Good Thing by Derek Barnes, illustrated by Gordon C. James. To Tamir Rice, Travion Martin, EJ Bradford, Jordan Edwards, Michael Brown, Jordan Davis, and Julian Mallory. To my son, Gabriel, and all little brothers like him. <clears throat> what a beautiful dedication. I am a nonstop ball of energy, powerful and full of light. I am a go-getter, a difference maker, a leader. I am every good thing that makes the world go round, you know, like gravity, or the glow of moonbeams over a field of brand new snow. I am good to the core, like the center of a cinnamon roll. Yeah, that good. It's a great analogy. That is a great analogy, yum. I am skateboard tricks, scraped knees and elbows. But you know what? I am right back on my feet again. Love it. So, yes. Ooh. I am one eye open and one eye closed, peeking through a microscope, gazing through a telescope, checking out the spaces around me and plotting out those far off places I have yet to go, but will. I am a gentleman and a scholar. I am kind and polite, like yes ma'am and yes sir, helping my grandmother across the street and saying bless you when a stranger has to sneeze. Go so far those manners. Sure does. 
I am a cool breeze. A perfect paper airplane that glides for blocks, for miles, forever. Hmm. I am a roaring flame of creativity. I am a lightning round of questions and a star-filled sky of solutions. I am an explorer planting a flag on every square foot of this planet where I belong. I am a sponge soaking up information, knowledge, and wisdom. I want it all, and I am all ears. That's awesome. So he's trying to learn and soak in as much information as he can. It's so important to be a good, rounded person, you know, to know a lot about everything. Yeah. I am sad. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say it reminds me so much of our scholars at mm -hmm. Shamrock Garden. Mm -hmm. I am Saturday mornings in the summertime. I am two bounces and a front flip off the diving board. I am hilarious. I am the life of the party. I am that smile forming on your face right now. How did he know I was smiling? <gasps> so wild. I'm the boom, bap, boom, boom, bap. And the bat, the bass line thumps and the kick drum jumps. I'm the perfect beat, the perfect rhyme, keeping everything on point and always on time. But you already knew that. I think he's doing a mic drop. Yeah. yeah. I am a grand slam, bases fully loaded. I'm a nasty two-handed dunk holding on to the rim. Just to remind you that I'm still the man. Believe that. I am the undisputed champion. I'm the highlight reel of magnificence. I am the celebration, the applause, and the standing ovation. I am victory. Mm. I am a brother, a son, a nephew, favorite cousin, a grandson. I am a friend. I am real. I am tight hugs, a hand to hold, a shoulder to cry on. If you have to, I hope you never have to. I am here. Oh, beautiful. Although I am something like a superhero, every now and then I am afraid. I am not what they, they might call me and I will not answer to any name that is not my own. I am what I say I am. Mm, so empowering. Mm -hmm. I am the sound in the forest when the mighty tree falls. I am waves crashing gently on the shore. I am a force of nature, a miracle, a blessing. I am brave. I am hope. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. dream. I am worthy of success, of respect, of safety, of kindness, of happiness. Mm. That is fantastic, beautiful illustration. And without a shadow of a doubt, I am worthy to be loved. I am worthy to be loved. I'm curious if these children featured in this book, I wonder if it's gonna say, uh, I wonder if they were uh, students or, or kids that he you know, knows, that's you know, very cool. Well, and I was looking back at this page and mm -hmm. I was thinking that some of these faces, you know, look like some of the faces I see in the neighborhood. So these could be even since we know that our illustrator lives in our neighborhood, these could be people um, that we know. These yeah. could be kids that we know. These can be adults back here that we recognize, mm -hmm. inspiring humans. Yes. Yes, what a yeah. beautiful book. And it's I beautiful. feel like you guys just recently read another book where you were using that same I am, I think it was I am love. And uh -huh. um, I 
I really love these mantras of I am and really staking and claiming who we are. We get to say. And reminding yourself of that very often that you are awesome. You are awesome just the way that you are. You and you are worthy of love. Just like you said, you are worthy. Well, thank you. That book was one of the best we've read in quite some time. And I hope that everyone tunes in and enjoys it as much as I did. Well, and I've got to, I got to tell you this, this is real tidbit, a little bit of foreshadowing, but that book was just in my core order for our school library. So that will be oh, in our wow. library to borrow oh, wow. when the next book order comes. That's fantastic. So now when we come back, someone can check it out, take it home yep. and enjoy it. Or check it out on Sora right now. Yeah. True, true. Yes, yes. All right. Well, we hope everyone enjoyed the story. We'll see you next time on uh, Dolores and Barbara, sometimes Rosa and sometimes Miss Mott and sometimes Miss Christensen. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Good night.